mental health and well-being weekly inside. It's awesome to be kind. Just imagine you being the reason someone smiles today. Giving is so good for you internally. Giving is great for society. Kindness is incredibly contagious. Now imagine you being the reason someone smiles today. That could make all the difference in someone's life. A smile makes you smile back. A little bit in return, doesn't it? Whether you're act acting kind or someone's been kind to you, the chances are it feels good for everybody that's involved. It is no coincidence that kindness is contagious. So the more we do kind things, the kinder other people end up being too. Now in psychological terms, this is known as activating mirror neurons or modeling behaviors. Like some, uh, when someone smiles at you, you can't help smiling back, am I right? If that wasn't a good enough reason, science shows that kindness also helps benefit our health both physically and mentally. You don't need grand gestures, money or much of any imagination to make someone's day while giving yourself a boost at the same time. From research that I carried out, um, I'd like to share you know, the psychological of kindness and some ways that we can all benefit from this. Now we are made to be kind and we can all be kind and show that. We're biologically wired to be kind, it's human nature. That's not to say everyone behaves kindly, we know that that's not true, but many of us can be unkind, either intentionally or simply through the lack of self-awareness. Now, sometimes through outside influences or you know, the stress of our day-to-day -day lives, we can lose that inherent ability as well. But it is not impossible to learn to be kinder, to develop that trait with practice and repetition. Now, in fact, as I said, research has found that people can actually build up their compassion muscle and respond to others suffering with care and a desire to help. A study uh, by researchers at the Centre for Investigating Healthy Minds in a university in Wisconsin shows that adults can be trained to be more compassionate. Now, what the researchers did was they asked can compassion be trained and learned in adults? Can we become more caring in practice that in pra if we practice mindset? Now their evidence points to the answer yes, because Darwin observed that humans have an enormous capacity for pro-social, cooperative and altruistic behavior. That is, we're all capable of kindness if we choose to. Giving is good for you, the health benefits of being kind. Research does show that we, may be, that we benefit from giving support more than those receiving it. And we also are more likely to get support in return if, when we need it. So kindness helps minimize things like aggression, high blood pressure, depression, anxiety. You know, these are all major problems in society today and even so more now. Now, according to the Mental Health Foundation, nearly half, 43.4% of UK adults, think that they have a, or have had a diagnosable mental health condition. And at some point in their lives, you know, 35% of men and 51% of women um, have had a diagnosis confirmed by professionals. The question here is, could practicing kindness be a cure? Now the answer in short is yes, absolutely. While there's no magic one size fits all solution, there are many proven ways to reduce the feelings of anxiety, such as meditation, exercise, prescription medication, talking to therapies and natural remedies. But you know what, one thing for sure is that's not talked about a lot is that actually the easiest and most inexpensive way to keep the anxious feelings at bay is to be a giver of kindness and to reap the psychological rewards. In other words, it 
feels good to be nice. So being kind, receiving that. In fact, according to a research uh, from Emory University, when you're kind to another person, your brain's pleasure and reward centers are activated as if you were the recipient of the good deed, not the giver. This phenomenon is called the helper's high. Kindness reduces stress. So helping others um, lets you get outside of yourself and take a break from the stresses in your own life. And this behavior can make you better equipped to handle stressful situations. Now scientists have found that, you know, perpetually kind people have 23% less cortisol, the stress hormone, and the age slower in the population. So doing nice things for the others helps boost your serotonin and dopamine levels. Uh, you know, and the neurotransmitters in your brain responsible for that feeling of satisfaction and reward and well-being. Like exercise, kindness, these all re reduces uh, endomorphins and you can't buy that with money. Being kind can actually boost your health too. Physically making others feel good can also affect the actual chemical balances in your heart. Kindness releases hormone oxytocin. These are your love hormones, which causes the release of a chemical called nitric oxide in the blood vessels. So these can you know, reduce your blood pressure. Giving is good for the society. Now a German writer, Johann Wolfgang, he describes kindness as the golden chain by which society is bound. When we give to others, it activates the areas of the brain associated with pleasure, social connection and trust. It all makes sense what he's saying. It can make us feel closer to people. It creates that community. When we have communities or tribes of like-minded people, helping each other out, it really does reduce the social isolation and loneliness. Now, one common uh, description of loneliness is the feeling we get when our need for rewarding social contact and relationship is not met. And it is widely reported that it's a contributing factor to mental health conditions like depression. So not feeling like we have anyone to share our problems with can really impact our psychological mental resilience. So talking is important too. When times get difficult, it is good to talk and share how you're feeling, which is why social connection is so important. Kindness is contagious. And apparently positive effects of kindness are experienced in the brain of everyone who witnesses a kind act, improving their mood and making them significantly more likely to pay it forward. This means one good deed in a crowded area can really create this domino effect of kindness and positivity. So I ask, what are you going to do today to spread kindness and make someone smile? Just see the difference that it makes to you. Smiling and kindness cost absolutely nothing. It's free. So share your kindness and share a smile with the next person that you pass by.